Today, I'm going to repot my Pilea peperomioides. And oh my God, I've been dreading this day. Well, there she is sitting pretty on the windowsill. And if you want to see how I repot her, then continue watching. <music> So before I could repot, I realized I needed to go outside to get some terracotta pots. To be honest, the Pelea had always been in a plastic dollar store pot and she wasn't doing very well. And then one of my friends, Sean, said that he heard that Peleas really liked terracotta pots. So then I ended up getting one large terracotta pot, seven medium sized ones and two small ones. When I got home, I ended up painting them with two coats of white chalk paint. I paint all my pots white. The reason why I procrastinated in repotting this Palea is because, honestly, she is so delicate. I feel like every time I go near her, her leaves snap. They're very crisp and just so snappy. So I don't even know how I'm going to attempt this. I figured I would get a spoon and probably that wouldn't work. So then I just ended up thinking, you know what? I'm just going to gently pull her out. And here is one Pilea or otherwise known as a pup. And you know, there you go. I lost another leaf. Oh, well, but yeah, see, and there's another one. So I'm just going to have to cut that off. Like I'm telling you, every time I go near her or touch her, the leaves just snap. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one because it's going to fall anyway. Well, there's one pup and many more to go. I'm just going to set her aside. I notice that as I pull each pup off or out of the soil, it's not very hard. Uh, oh, look at this. Now there's more babies and more leaves coming out. One thing about these plants is they propagate easily all on their own. All you need to do is remove the babies or the pups very gently and then repot them. See, this one has a lot of little pups coming out and even another one, really, really small one over there. Now, this plant is also known as the Chinese money plant, the flying saucer plant or the friendship plant. It's easy to understand why this plant is called the friendship plant. Because it propagates so easily, all you have to do is separate the pups and give each one to a friend. And because there's so many pups, there's so many friends that you can give them to. The Pilea peperomioides is a native to the Yunnan and Sichuan provinces in southern China. Here you can see so many tiny pups starting to come out. Look at that. There's a tiny one right here. With regards to lighting, these plants just love bright light. As long as they're not put in direct sunlight, the direct sun can scorch the leaves. You can also put them within a light shade, and this actually may encourage larger leaves to grow. These plants are said to be hardy down to freezing, and a period of cool temperatures may make them more likely to produce their tiny white flowers. So as you can see, um, the leaves are really, really delicate and I'm trying to be really gentle to put, uh, pull out the pups. However, uh oh, this is going to be, uh, because this is the largest, what do you call it? Like stem or pup or main plant. I'm going to be putting this in the larger terracotta pot. <music> The Pilea peperomioides really prefers a well-draining potting soil, and a pot with drainage holes is necessary. That's why I just love terracotta pots. Now the soil needs to mostly dry out between waterings, with more watering required in warmer, sunnier weather. And if the leaves start to look slightly droopy, that's a sign that the plant needs water. So here's a pup having other pups. And like I said, it's really delicate and the stems, the leaves, they just like snap off. I'm going to go ahead and snap these off because they're going to end up yellowing and getting weak anyway. 
Now I notice with this particular plant, the stem is like it's hardened and it's brown. So I'm not sure if it is dying or that's how it looks when the plant is maturing. I decided to cut it because if it's dying, I just wanted to see if, well, oh, okay, look, so there's green. So I guess it's not dying. Uh, uh oh, okay, let's see what we can do. I'm going to set this aside here and plant it. Hopefully it'll root. Okay, so here are the pups and I'm going to go ahead and put these in one of the smaller pots. You know, I lost count in terms of like the number of pups I am planting. <music> Now I'm going to pause the time lapse and look at this, look at this really healthy, very, very thin root. And if you look around this root ball, there are so many tiny little healthy roots. So this is a really good pup or plant. I'm pausing the time lapse again because now look, look at this tiny little pup. And then over here, there's more growing, but it's so tiny. Look at that. Okay, so here's that stem that I cut earlier. I thought it was dying. Uh, so I'm going to go and put it directly into the soil and hopefully it'll root. Well, we're all done repotting. Thank goodness for time lapse. So these are all the leaves that have fallen during the repotting process. Oh boy. So let's take a look at all the plants that I had repotted. This is the main playa and it is in the large terracotta pot. And then here are the other smaller ones. So I ended up using um, bamboo chopsticks to hold it up. And over here, there's another one that I had to use a bamboo chopstick. Hopefully it'll strengthen. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. And here's another one. And this one looks like it's good. It already has a pup. And I see there's the leaves are different here. Some of the leaves turn down, some of the leaves turn up, some of the leaves are flat. Here's another one that turns down. I'm gonna have to watch that one. Look at this. Look at all the pups. And then here's some more. I think this is another medium sized one. And this one looks really healthy. Now there's one that I'm going to bring that is not in a terracotta pot. It's actually in its original nursery pot, but anyway, I'll have to get more terracotta pots. And here are the small little pots. This one's kind of big, but that's probably gonna go really good. And there is the little tiny baby. There you go. Well, there you have it. Finished repotting the Pilea peppermioides. Uh oh, I forgot one. Oh, I know where this is gonna go. I'll put this in the big terracotta pot. I'm just gonna move that away, and there you go. There's plenty of room for this little guy to totally grow. 
If you liked this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified for updates. Now, if you have a Pilea peppermoides and you are having the same issues as I have, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching.